Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's continue the rant since this continues to grow and that is about the 24th of September and in particular a tie-in with of all things The Simpsons. Now what this comes out of is the comments section on the German Parliament use of the date September 24th in a speech that took place actually February 27th of this year. So quite a while ago and everybody's like, oh my God, he said the date September 24th. It's prophecy, it's the end of the world. Oh, there's gonna be a massive disaster on the 24th. And I'm pretty much telling you, I put that video up, if you haven't seen it, it's just a couple of videos back in, in the queue. And he's not talking about anything like that. I put up a, a good clip of the video with his translation. He's talking about the war in the Ukraine. He's talking in past tense. He meant to say February 24th, which is why when he says September 24th, everybody in the room mutters because they're wondering what the hell he's talking about. But I'm getting hammered in the comment section, getting sand kicked in my face by people who are determined that something absolutely world-changing and disastrous is going to go down on the 24th. Well, good luck. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's only a few days away at this point. And one of the things that keeps coming up is that The Simpsons predicted it. The Simpsons is a cartoon show, all right? And the reason that The Simpsons targeted the 24th of September in particular is because that date is already ominous because of the... Black Friday, the original Black Friday, which took place on September 24th, 1869, on a Friday, obviously, where there was a crash on Wall Street and a total depression was averted on account of Grant cutting it off. Grant got a hold of the gold ring, you know, and you, you can look this up for yourself if you look up uh, Black Friday 1869 and see exactly what it was that happened. It's a part of history no one talks about. There was a group called the Gold Ring and they were trying to manipulate the gold market and Grant intercepted it. President Grant intercepted it and prevented a depression at the time. And that's where the term, the original term Black Friday comes from. So the date's already ominous. People already suspect that date, just like they suspect Friday the 13th and have no understanding of where that term comes from either, or that date, why that date is supposed to be ominous. Most people have no freaking clue, but they sure do believe uh, Friday the 13th is bad luck. And they believe September 24th is bad luck as well. So this guy says September 24th and the Simpsons mentioned it once, very likely because it's already an ominous date and everybody runs with it. They run with it and shame on you for being like that, for being so easily manipulated whenever something pops up like this. There's enough things in the world to worry about without falling over every time something pops up in the media or social media for that matter, which is full of pretty much as much garbage as the regular mainstream media is, quite frankly. And especially with these uh, Prepper and Christian channels, it's incredible how much of this circulates. So I've been getting hammered in the comment section from people that are determined, determined something's wrong. And The Simpsons comes up, and I'm like, it's a cartoon. If anything happened that is related to something that was mentioned in The Simpsons, it was either a setup, like I just mentioned their use of September 24th and why they used that date anyways, or it's a coincidence, all right? It's like uh, the Nostradamus prophecies, Nostradamus's predictions. If you wait long enough, something will eventually happen that will at least closely resemble something that was predicted. Doesn't mean that he predicted it. He, he threw out some of his so-called predictions you wait a few hundred years and something that kind of looks like it might fit pops up and everybody's like, see, look, look, it happened. It doesn't mean he predicted anything. And the thing that also I find offensive is that a lot of the time it's Christians that are in the front of the line for this kind of stuff. They line up around the block for it. They eat it up. They eat it up. Oh, the prediction, this person said this and this was on the Simpsons and whatever. And if you knew your Bible, you would know that it says not to do that. 
not to do that while you claim to believe in the Bible and love the Lord and go to church every Saturday or Sunday or whatever you do and don't know what's in the Bible and what it means. It says to stay away from that sort of thing. The Bible's pretty clear on it about predictions, about fortune tellers and necromancers and all of that other stuff. So the next time you want to go in for some dream interpretation or play with some tarot cards or something, you better think twice. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. On the 25th, I will do another video. I will do another video and I will, it will go one of two ways. If a massive world changing event actually happens on the 24th, if anybody's still around on the 25th, I will put out a video and I will admit that I was wrong because there's nothing wrong with admitting that you were wrong. Or if the alarm goes off in the morning on the 24th and it's business as usual on the 25th, I will do an I told you so video counter mocking all of the people who picked on me for saying very likely nothing's going to happen. Calm down. Nothing wrong with being prepared. I'm all about being prepared. Always be prepared. But don't knock yourself out thinking you know exact dates and times and don't let these people drag you down with them while they put up clickbait garbage to suck people in because that's all it is that's all it is I guarantee you 99.998 percent of the time it's a bunch of clickbait nonsense difference if there is a massive disaster, the whole world gets nuked, a comet strikes the earth, whatever, on the 24th. I'm willing to admit on the 25th that I was wrong. But I bet you, no one from the comment section who mocked me for saying that likely on the 24th nothing's going to happen will come on to that video and admit they were wrong. Because they're cowards. <laughs> they're cowards and fools. And it is harder to convince someone they were fooled than it is to fool them and even harder still to get them to admit they were wrong. So if you have any thoughts about that, feel free to post your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't, don't base your life off of something that was on The Simpsons, honest to God. I mean, seriously. <laughs> I can't believe how many people buy into that sort of thing. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up. The rumor is that it helps with YouTube's, YouTube's algorithm. I don't believe that at all, but I appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new. Check out some of the other videos if you have not. If you're curious about the random cat images, they are strays that my wife and I take care of, and pictures of them actually do help with the loading algorithm on YouTube, believe it or not. If you would like to help the channel out, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and we sure do appreciate it. Not just us, but the cats as well, because that's pretty much where any of the money would go. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay frosty, folks, and thanks for watching.